So in this video, I'm going to show you how to measure how to measure a the 2D distance between 3D points. So, so I've just drawn this line. I'm going to actually make it a bit more exaggerated. The vertical differences between each of the points more vertically exaggerated. Change the elevation of that to 20. So you can see this line is 3D. And, um, and say you wanted to um, examine the length between this point and that point, but you didn't want to know the slope length of it, you wanted to know the 2D length of it. You simply can't just go type in distance and go from here to there, because the distance that it's showing, it's going to be uh, the slope distance, not the horizontal distance. So if you wanted to examine the 2D distance between these two points, you can change the O-snap variable, the O-snap Z variable. So we'll O-snap, we'll type in that command into the command line, O-snap Z. And so zero, when it's set to zero, it's um, going to select the 3D location of a point. But if we type in one, it's going to be clicking only on the set default elevation. So we type in ELEV, We'll find out what the default elevation is. So it's been set to zero. So if we draw any lines now or measure anything, it's all going to be at that default elevation of zero. So if we type in distance and go from this end point. You can see it's selecting beneath that line because the default height, the default elevation for anything. Is now going to be zero and we select the endpoint of this line so you can see again it's like it's showing the node at a zero elevation you can see the z difference is zero because it was and the horizontal distance is 48.592 so this works for drawing lines as well so say you wanted to draw a line only at the end point elevation, so that's an elevation of 20. So say we wanted to trace back over this line, but we wanted each segment elevation to be 20. We'll open up the, we'll enter in ELEV again and change the default elevation of 20. Then we'll create a 3D poly line. We'll just actually just check first the OSNAP Z variable. So it's set to one, so that's good. So now we'll type in 3D poly to create a 3D poly line. And we're going to trace back over this line. And when we go into a 3D view, we didn't do that right. So elevation, change that to 20. Ah, and then just hit enter to accept the default thickness. All right, we'll try that again. We'll change the color this time to red. So 3D poly, we'll trace back over this line. You can see that this line, each vertex elevation is 20. And that's because the default elevation has been set to 20 and the O snap Z variable has been set to one. If we change that back to zero and do another 3D poly line, we'll change the color first just so, um, just so I don't get confused. Uh, just so we don't get confused between what each of the different things we've been doing. So 3D poly, we trace back over this line. You can see now it's just drawn a line directly on top of what the original one was. And that's because the O snap Z variable has been set to zero. All right. Anyway, so I hope you found that useful. That was a video on how you can modify the O snap Z variable to either draw lines at, at, at a default elevation and also how to measure the 2D distance between two 3D points. Thanks for watching.